<laughs> guys, welcome. Not Sri Lankan Sammy anymore. Well, I am Sri Lankan Sammy for today. But starting after this, it is Titastic Sammy. Titastic Sammy is in the house. We are off to the land of Red Bull. The land of Red Bull, we are off to Thailand. I am in the Silk Ruth Lounge. Look at this. So you guys have seen this before many, many, many times. I have done so many reviews on this. It is Monday morning. 4:45 in the morning and in 10 minutes I am done everything. I am been checked in by Sri Lankan Airlines. I have been checked in by security. I have been checked in by customs and I will be escorted through the back upstairs to my lounge. Now I'm flying Sri Lankan Airlines uh, business class so I will go to the Sri Lankan Airlines lounge. I'm going to put in the link to the website for Silk Route right up here. And there are different packages. So I bought the Ar Aralaya package, which includes arrival and departure, but no lounge access because I'm flying business class. So because I'm flying business class, I get the business class lounge. If you wish, if you're flying economy, you can get the package that includes the Silk Route Lounge. Now, this service is a service of the airport and not a service of the airline. So it is separate from the airline and it's not, in, not part of the airport. If you are flying, um, one thing I did find out is if you are flying business class in Qatar or Sri Lankan Airlines, the basic service is available to you. So departure is available to you for free. Um, but only the immigration and check-in, not the lounge. But I mean, if you're business class, you get the lounge. So uh, you have to check that out yourself, find that out. But I mean, it's just so much easier. Arrival is probably one of the better things. The beautiful thing about this part is that you avoid that check-in. I mean, you guys saw that video with my brother, or you, I mean, that video is coming up soon as well. You guys will see that. Oh my gosh. So he he commented that it was insane the lineup, right? So I mean I'm planning my next trip on either uh, to Bali or back to Thailand in October, and I'll be flying Singapore Airlines to take advantage of the points that I've accrued on that airline uh, and use them up. So, uh, but the ticket price is the same as Sri Lankan Airlines. It's just I have a layover uh, in uh, Singapore for two, 50 minutes or two hours. Not a big deal, but that's what I'm going to end up doing. So, let's go upstairs and we'll see you guys in the lounge. <laughs>
even when I'm flying to Ashiana or anything like that. Forget it if I'm flying a foreign airline. But I've got now, uh, it's now five o'clock. I got two hours <laughs> to sit and do nothing. So that's so good. I am going to give you guys a tour of Sri Lankan business class. I haven't flown Sri Lankan business class in quite a while. So we're going to have a, we're going to get some breakfast and we'll see you guys in a little while. Hey guys, welcome to the show. I am boarded. Let me tell you something. I always am stressed out and anxious when it comes to boarding times of airplanes. I don't know what it is about boarding times of airplanes, but my boarding tick boarding card said boarding at 6.55. And I something told me, go look at the board at 6.45. And at 6.45, I looked at the, at the uh, monitor, and it said final call for my flight. So I packed up my stuff, and I walked over here. Everybody was already getting on the plane. They had already boarded business class. So I walked in, and everybody was already on business class, and they were already boarding economy class so was the last person getting on getting on business class let me tell you something <laughs> I, I hate that and the other thing is, is that I really 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 don't understand children in business class what is it all about and wow what a shocking surprise that we are in a brand new A330 herringbone all sweet airplane. I thought I was going to be in the two by two, two, two and two configuration, but we are in the herringbone configuration, all sweet business class. I, I'm loving it. This is going to be a really nice flight. I mean, it's only three and a half hours, but let me tell you something. This, this airplane is one of my favorite Airbus. The A330-200 is one of my favorite uh, regional airplanes. Absolutely beautiful. So this airplane just came from Paris. Um, and it's just going to turn around and go back. So the air crew is predominantly French. I could hear them speaking French. And I was just looking at the, uh, the flight map. So it, yeah, it looks like it's just arrived from Paris and it's going to do a turnaround and head back to France. Not head back to, sorry, it just arrived from Paris. It's going to do a turnaround and go to Bangkok. So. We are so we're going to get some champagne or something and we will enjoy that and I one thing I forgot I forgot to bring my tripod I forgot I no I did bring my tripod I did bring my tripod is it in my bag I'm 90% sure it's in my bag I'm gonna double check that hello salut okay. ça va est-ce que tu parles français oui oui je suis canadien Wait, but I saw the, I, I heard the accent and then I saw the, the sign yes. and I was like you just came in from Paris so I yeah. thought and I, you're from Belgium. Oh, oh Belgium company yeah. okay I was like this is a 
not the plane I was thinking that we were no. going to be flying on. And I was like, yeah, we are operating the flight. Wow. Yeah. And I was like, wait a minute, this is not an A320. This no. is an A330. Yes, correct. I'm so happy. Yeah, Champagne, happy please. Champagne. Thank you, sir. Thank you so yeah, much. So, almost all the colleagues are speaking French too, and French also. So they can use I haven't spoken French in 20 years, so I'm going to be Ma practicing. Oui. Merci beaucoup. Oui. Oui. Look at that. Yeah, this is a charter airplane. I'm going to so enjoy this flight. See you guys all on the other side. Salut! Hey guys, so Titastic Sammy on his way. We are pushing back about five minutes late. <laughs> As you can hear from the overhead announcement, we're uh, getting ready to go. Um, so this airplane is actually Air Belgium, which has been um, chartered by Sri Lankan Airlines to run this flight, which is a real treat for me. This is an, an A330 or an A340. Um, and I am just over the moon on this airplane. I have not flown on this variant of this airplane in a long, long time. So I think we're just going to run through the safety protocol. I'll come back for the takeoff. See you guys in a bit. So we are just getting ready to uh, taxi out to the runway. One of the things I like about this airport is a very small airport. The terminals right there, taxi here, and two runways. They they finished the runway just last year, the second runway. And so uh, it's quite easy to get out here. So yeah, this is an Air Belgium um, flight uh, that has been I guess how you say it, uh, contracted to fly this airplane, fly this flight. So definitely Titastic Sammy. Uh, I used ChatGTP to figure out a new um, uh, a new a new uh, a, a, a title for my name for the next month. So. You guys are going to be shocked to see California Day when I land. He is landing 10 minutes after I do in Thailand. He just texted me. His, he's boarding right now in Manila. He was in CDO in the southern Philippines. And he is flying to Manila. He flew to Manila and is flying from Manila to Bangkok. He's going to be staying with me in my room, in my hotel, in my condo for one night, and moving to his condo for one week, uh, and then flying back home. He uh, recently broke up with his girlfriend, a uh, longtime girlfriend, and then uh, he just needed to get out of town. Uh, those of you guys who don't know, uh, Dave is an American guy I met uh, back in. Philippines. In the last month that I was there, I was in Philippines for six months, and I met him in my last month. He's a really nice guy. I mean, one of the nicest guys I've ever known. And we instantly clicked, and we hung out every day. Um, he had two dogs, and we used to go because I used to after like, during my work day, I used to go over to the beach. We used to go off to the beach every day and hang out. And just the sweetest, kindest man I've ever met. He's uh, a little older or a little younger than me. Same age, like in my age range. But just the sweetest, sweetest guy from California. So I call him California Dave. And just, just a great guy. So we're really looking forward to hanging out with him. So we'll see you guys in Thailand.
ready to take off, and we are out. So here we go, nice little, I don't know how I got a special meal, but I got a special meal. We got some strawberry, some orange, some bread and an omelet, some broccoli and mushrooms, and chicken breast, which looks really, really nice. Some orange juice and I'm gonna get some tea later. This looks fantastic much better than what is being served today, which is an omelet, kiribat, or something else, which I wasn't really keen on eating. But this looks amazing. One of the things I was uh, noticing earlier is everybody's always shooting pictures of the windows and everything like that and you can see the wing. I've never seen the wings of an airplane because I'm always in the front of the plane. Hey guys, so we are now in descent into Thailand. Welcome back. Welcome back. Sammy is back in Thailand. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Uh, this has been a very great flight. Only three and a half hours. This is definitely something that I could start to do every couple of months. It's not going to be a problem for me. Three and a half hours. Uh, I, I could get used to this, but this was a wonderful flight. A wonderful crew. Uh, I mean, I was really not 100% looking forward to flying with Sri Lankan Airlines. They're not 100% my best airline. Uh, I usually fly Cathay Pacific or uh, Singapore Airlines. And, you know, Sri Lankan Airlines is okay, but they're planes are not the best in the world, their seats are not the best in the world, this was a really a comfortable seat, and it's even got a massage feature, I love it, I love it, the, the, the cushion is a little bit on the lumpy side than what I'm sitting on, uh, just tiny, tiny bit, that's the one thing, otherwise so much legroom, I mean just look at it, I mean take a look at all of the space I have. And the leg room, look at that leg room. I mean, it goes out forever. I don't think I could. And it's a fully live flat seat. They gave me a, a great pillow, a blanket I never used. Very comfortable. And um, I enjoyed it. The meal was amazing. The meal was amazing. So um, I enjoyed this flight. I enjoyed, I, I, you know, I paid uh, 1,200 US dollars for this flight. Um, I, got to, I got to take up the luggage that I used, so uh, that I needed. Uh, I was supposed to only be able to bring seven kilos of carry-on, but I got 10. So, okay, you know, uh, they didn't go bothered me too much. I think it's because I was going through the VIP service. Hopefully I will repack my stuff properly so that it doesn't cause any problems coming. But I don't know how that's going to work out coming. So we'll see there. So I will see you guys on the ground and we will go through uh, the next video on the VIP service Bangkok International Airport. Thanks again, guys. Sri Lankan Sammy thanking you for joining me and welcome to Titastic Sammy.